Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking this video. If you haven't seen me before, then hi, my name is Roisin. If you have seen me before, then welcome back. I'm glad you're here again. Today I am introducing my 2024 project pan. I am quite late getting this kicked off. It's actually the 18th of February that I am filming this intro. This is going to be my main project pan for 2024. I am intending to run some side sort of smaller project pans, like more seasonal ones. So if you like project pan content, do make sure you subscribe because there will be more of it coming your way. But yeah, essentially this is going to be like a 10 month project pan, but it's still going to be my main one for 2024. So with no further ado, let's get on into what I'm going to pan in 2024. There are a couple of products in this year's project pan that if you've been with me for a while you will be familiar with. The first of which is this. So this was actually in my 12 pans of Christmas just at the end of 2023. But I do have a new piece of washi tape. We're starting new marking. This is where we're starting from in this project and I'm aiming to finish this product within the year. So the product itself is the Origins Mask Miser. They sell it as a skin optimizing mask primer. Essentially though, it's a facial spray. So that is really how I'm intending to use it, is I'm just going to take it into work, sit it in my desk, and kind of refresh my face through the day with it. This is something that sat with my face masks for a very long time in my collection. I never thought to reach for it, so it's really, really old. I just would like to get it used up and get it out of my collection completely in 2024. I'm not going to do that organically, so it needs to go in a project so that I think about it. And yeah, I'm hoping this is, we're about halfway down it, so 12 months should be plenty of time to get this done. Another product that I'm revisiting from an old project pan is this shower gel. So this is the Guerlain Mon Guerlain shower gel. I realised when I put this in my project pan before that this is this is beyond my level of comfort basically with shower gel. It's just so expensive and you know I love a scented candle and I like a nice shower gel. A proper kind of luxury shower gel like this is just I try and keep it for special occasions but ultimately I've had it in my collection for ages so I just want to actually get it moved out. These are the markings from a previous project pan that it was in and this, I've got a little 24 written above it. So this is the marking for this project pan. This is where we're starting from. So that is how much I've used the last time this was in a year long project pan. So I definitely think I should finish it up this year. Again, I'm never going to finish this if I don't actively put it in a project pan and sort of force myself to use it, even though it slightly pains me to watch the money go down the drain with it. It's a perfumed product so I want to use it before that smell changes because that's obviously the key kind of USP of this shower gel is that it's the Mon Guerlain scented one. We want to use it before it goes off so aiming to finish this this year and hopefully not perceiving any problems. I'm also aiming to finish my Mon Guerlain perfume this year. Now obviously I could use the perfume more than I'm going to use the shower gel. I feel like the shower gel is something I will use on weekend days when I know I'm going to wear this perfume. But this is quite a sort of inoffensive perfume. It's the sort of thing I think I could put on for work and whatever and I probably wouldn't think to use the, the fancy shower gel for a work day in the morning. Um, although we'll see, obviously it depends how quickly it goes down. If I only use it at weekends I might need to start using it during the week. We'll see what happens over the course of the year. But I think the perfume I should go through, although there's obviously significantly more of it than there is of the shower gel, I think I should still be able to finish the perfume within the year. So I've got washi tape in the back. I've marked it here. This is where it is starting from. And yeah, aiming to to finish this up within the year. This is one of my oldest perfumes. I got this in 2016, so I definitely want to get it used up and moved out of my collection. I have got a few makeup items in this year and this one is I think probably the item that's going to be the hardest item in the entire project and it is my Lisa Eldridge Ribbon Lip Gloss. So I have marked this right up at the top because this is basically full. I've left this actually standing upright for 
like basically a month ahead of marking it and absolutely there is no movement on the sides whatsoever it's not settling any further down i have quite a small and quite expressive mouth i've uh, talked about this in videos before so i am quite wary of lip gloss generally and this is a very pigmented lip gloss anytime i use this it ends up bunched up in the corners of my mouth and like it just it, it gets messy and i don't like it so I don't really reach for this however it does have like oils and things in it so I am planning to use this kind of nightly in the house almost as like a replacement for a lip balm rather than technically as a lip gloss as its function so I'm hoping by using it in that sort of treatment sense in the evenings at home when it's not going to matter if it's a bit of a mess or whatever that I will go through it as I say absolutely no windowing no movement still looks completely opaque so uh, I think this is going to be the most difficult one to get through but we shall see hopefully like 10 months should be enough time to use this if I'm using it like pretty much every night so fingers crossed it is 4.5 mils of product so quite a lot of product for a lip gloss and it's quite thick and you don't need very much of it so I think this will be really slow moving I would like to finish it, I don't know if that's realistic, I think it's going to be the most challenging product in the project, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I am putting my Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Circle Perfector SPF 50, so this is, I've classified this as a concealer on my inventory, however it's a very low coverage product. But it does have a bit of pigment to it so it's kind of one of those products that I never reach for because it's not a proper concealer. I would wear this and then I'd put a concealer over the top. However it also has pigment to it so it's not something that I can just use as an eye cream without having to think about. It's not going to sink in and go away. It needs to be kind of buffed out and blended and whatever so it's quite a sort of in the middle product that I'd never reach for. I think probably if I went on more like hot holidays, like beachy holidays, this would be ideal for that kind of environment where you maybe want a bit of something in your face but you don't want a full face of makeup. Whereas for me, I'm very much either not wearing any makeup or I'm wearing makeup like I am today. I very rarely want the kind of in the middle thing. However, I am hoping that I will be able to use this up during the week at work. So I weighed it this morning and it currently weighs 19 grams. That obviously includes the packaging. So yeah, I'm hoping for kind of like 1.5 to 2 grams of usage a month should theoretically mean that it's finished within the year. I would like to finish it. That is the goal. So yeah, we shall see. Another complexion product that I have in this year is the Armani Crema Nuda. This is, again, probably quite similar to that Kiehl's um, thing that I've called a concealer, but it's not a full coverage concealer. This is kind of like, sort of like a tinted moisturiser. So again, it wouldn't, for me, it wouldn't count as a foundation. I wouldn't use it as a foundation. It's not getting enough coverage. However, it is something on your face. So again, I think because I'm either wearing makeup or not wearing makeup, I don't reach for these kinds of products. This is probably going to be a really boring one for you guys, so I do apologise because I'm not, I have no way of marking this, I have no way of knowing. So I'm just going to have to kind of track my usage. I've had this for absolutely years, it's one of the most expensive products in my collection. Um, I think this is worth $120, so I really want to get it used up and get that value towards my empties but yeah I've had it for so long I very rarely use it but I want to try and finish it this year so yeah I think I'm just going to track my usage and I'm going to try and aim to use it at least 10 times every month I think and I'm hoping theoretically that would be 100 uses by the end of the project and that should be enough to finish it fingers crossed Another usage base goal that I've got. This is the Marc Jacobs Lines and Last Night blush. It is one of my favourite blushes in my collection and you can also no longer get it. So Marc Jacobs makeup, I think it's currently still trademarked and whatever, like as if it's coming back at some point. But at the moment you can't get it. This is what it looks like. It is huge. There's 8 grams of product in here. 
but because you can't get this anymore I have done that thing where I've been like you know treating this with kid gloves never reaching for it never using it but all that's going to happen is it's going to lose its pigment and I'm going to not have it to to use it anyway so I am putting it in this year's project it is massive as I said so my aim for this is also going to be to use it a hundred times theoretically sort of ten times a month given I've basically lost January and February we're calling this a ten month project so ten times each month should get me my hundred uses over the year I don't honestly know if that's going to be enough to hit pan in an eight gram product we'll just see how it changes over the year i hope it'll be visually interesting for you guys to see a proper kind of pan appear theoretically that's what i would like to happen um but yeah the main goal is 100 uses and we'll just see what that looks like once i've done them another product that i'm revisiting is my benefit dandelion twinkle highlight so this was in my project pan three years ago I think and I did hit pan on it within that project so my aim for this year is actually to try and finish this which feels like quite a lofty goal and I'm a bit intimidated by it especially that I do only have 10 months to do it in but I do have a pan so we'll start by kind of widening that pan and yeah I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping it's a uh, going to be doable. This had three grams of product in it. I've hit pan so we all know obviously once you hit pan there's still loads of product left but I'm hoping the fact that I have hit pan it's also a waffle pan which in my experience they take longer to hit but usually once you hit them it goes more quickly than like a traditional pan so we'll see. Quite a lofty goal I think but I am hoping to finish this this year so we'll see what happens with it. The penultimate product in this year's project pan is my Beauty Pie Futopia foot cream. This might seem like a bit of a random product but I really love this foot cream. I think it's so good. However, I do not have a Beauty Pie membership. My friend Lauren had one not last year but the year before and she ordered this for me because I'd been really interested in it. But because I would need to sign up to Beauty Pie to buy this again, at the member's price I'm aware I could buy it at full price. Similar to the Marc Jacobs blush I almost like hold on to this and like don't use it because I can't just go and re easily repurchase it. I feel like for me I've never signed up to a beauty pie membership because I think I would be in the headspace of being like well I'm paying to be allowed to buy this stuff so I'm going to buy it whether it's actually something I need or not and I think for me I've, I've still got such a big collection that I wouldn't be buying even like replacements often enough to say like well I mainly got the membership so I could buy this but it's given me an opportunity to try X, Y and Z. I feel like I'd just be trying X, Y and Z for the sheer kind of sake of I paid for the membership so I want to try stuff even though I don't necessarily need that stuff because I own other things that do the same job. Does that make sense? It does mean that I savour this which is ridiculous so I am going to put this in my project pan and force myself to use it. It's such a good foot cream and I know that it's such a, a kind of random thing to get really enthused about but it just, it, it's the best foot cream I have ever ever used. I really like it and I definitely, I would repurchase it. I might even repurchase it and pay the, the non-member price just to buy this as a one-off in the future. Um, but yeah. I'm putting it in so that I get the use of it before it expires, although it technically has already, it's a 12 month expiry. It's definitely been in my collection for more than 12 months and I want to use it while it's still good. So the aim is to finish this and to force myself to use it and stop keeping it for good or whatever it is I think I'm doing with this. And I'm weighing this one as well, so this starts at 56 grams. And the last product that I have in my collection is a hair product. I don't like a lot of product in my hair. I've got quite fine hair. It gets easily weighed down and that puts me off using a lot of products. So a lot of like blow dry balms and creams. But they're the sort of thing that seems to, to then bulk up in my collection because I'm not using it. So this year I am putting in this from Redken. So this is the Extreme Anti-Snap. It's a leave-in treatment. I used the Redken Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner that I bought at the same time of this up last year and really like that range in general. So I want to get the use out of this before it goes off or anything like that. And yeah, aiming to finish it within the year. 
So those are my 10 projects for my Project 10 pan in 2024. Different goals, mainly wanting to use things up, but a couple of usage goals as well. So I am really excited to get into using them. I hope you're excited to keep up with me in this journey and see the progress. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.